Now let us calculate magnetic potential due to a dipole. So let us consider magnetic dipole of magnetic moment capital M. Small m is the pole strength of the dipole and L is the distance between the poles. So suppose here we have one pole of pole strength M. Another pole is here. This is pole strength M. The distance between them is L from the center. We want to calculate the potential at any point P. This is point P. So what we will do? This is the distance R from the center of the dipole. So from the first pole we require the resistance called R1. What is R1? If this angle is theta, drop a perpendicular from the pole on to the line R1. This distance is L by 2. So this distance will be L by 2 cos theta. So R minus L by 2 cos theta is R1. Similarly, from this pole to the point P, this distance is R2. This again L by 2. This angle is theta. So I'll drop a perpendicular from here onto the extended line. If this is theta, the R2 can be written as R plus extra distance. L by 2 cos theta. So consider a magnetic dipole of moment capital M. What is capital M? Pole strength small m. Distance between them we have taken as L. M into L. L is the distance between the pole. Now if R1 and R2 are the distances of point P from the poles, then R1 is equal to R minus L by 2 cos theta. So R is total distance minus L by 2 cos theta. R plus R by 2 cos theta will be R2. R plus L by 2 cos theta that is equal to R2. Magnetic potential at P here due to this pole. V is equal to potential due to north pole plus potential due to south pole. So if this is north pole, this is south pole, it will be mu naught by 4 pi. So M by R1 minus M by R2 or mu naught M by 4 pi. Pole strength of each pole is same into 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. So R1, R2 value we can substitute. R minus L by 2 cos theta is in place of R1. R plus L by 2 cos theta in place of R2. So V is equal to mu naught M by 4 pi. Let us substitute value of R1 and R2. 1 by R minus L by 2 cos theta minus of 1 by R plus L by 2 cos theta. Or it can be written as mu naught M by 4 pi into you have L cos theta upon taking LCM divided by a plus b into a minus b r square minus l square by 4 cos square theta substituting capital m is equal to m into l and neglecting l square in comparison to r we get potential v is equal to mu naught by 4 pi this is constant now m into l we can write it as capital m so capital m cos theta divided by L square term is neglected. So just remaining R square. This is the potential of a magnetic dipole.